A contractor's costly mistake leaves a congregation with nowhere to worship. KWA's Lauren Craycaw is in Alma to show us how the community is coming together to get the church back on its feet. There is a lot of emotion to work through, but we're trying to get this to the point where we're excited about a new building. Seventh Day Adventist Church in Alma completely destroyed after contractors dug too far when building a wall between the church and the city's new parking lot. We were going to, to remodel the building to comply with the new look the city is trying to get to. So it was very disappointing, upsetting, very emotional. According to Pastor Burnham Rand, it was an accident, but moving forward, the church needs all the help they can get. It, it's kind of difficult because, you know, you're, you feel like you've lost your home. And so uh, we do appreciate the accommodations we have, but we're very anxious to be back in our own home. During this time of need, the United Methodist Church right down the street decided to lend a helping hand by allowing the church to use their sanctuary for services until they can get back on their feet. That, that feels really good. It feels like a good sense of community, and we really appreciate it. Doug Phillips is the pastor at Alma United Methodist Church. When he heard they wouldn't have a place of worship, he opened the building up to them. We believe, you know, they're spreading the good news. They're talking about Jesus uh, and helping people in the community. And any way that we can help them continue their ministry, uh, we want to do that. Pastor Phillips says this is just an example of how the city of Alma is better together. I have no doubt that the Alma community, as, as soon as there's a plan in, in, in place, they'll be right there, open arms, to make sure that church is rebuilt. In Alma, Lauren Craigall, KNWA Northwest Arkansas News.